This was the hardest Wi-Fi searching in my life. And the reason is a strange rule in cafe that I visited several years ago. If you want to get free Wi-Fi and free cup of coffee, you have to solve this insane problem. At first I said, no problems, just give me a paper and a pen. I started solving, but five minutes later realized that I am cooked <laughs> and have no idea about what to do. I don't know how, but I didn't give up and spent a whole hour to crack it. Look how I started. My logic was next. Sign. 9 degrees we can find from cosine 18 degrees. Cosine 18 degrees we can find from cosine 36 degrees. And cosine 36 degrees we can find from isoscales triangle A, B, C. Let's draw this triangle. Let angle C equals to 36 degrees. In this way, as we know that AC is equals to CB, angles A and B are equals to 72 degrees. And now let's hold a B sector of angle B. It divides angle A into two angles, each of them equals to 36 degrees. And from this moment we have two isoscales triangles A, B, D and A, C, D. Let's write A, B equals to A. In this way AD is also equals to A and CD is also equals to AD and it equals to A. And AC we can write like B. From triangle ABC let's write law of sines. It looks like A divided by sine 36 degrees and it equals to B divided by sine 72 degrees. Or we can write it like A divided by sine 36 degrees equals to b divided by 2 times sine 36 degrees times cosine 36 degrees. We understand that cosine 36 degrees equals to b divided by 2a. It's simple. But in order to find a link between b and a, let's consider similar triangles. We see that triangle ABC is similar to triangle BDA. And as they are similar, we can write a proportion that AB divided by BD equals to AC divided by AB or AB squared equals to AC times BD. Remembering that AB equals to A, AC equals to B and BD equals to B minus A, we can write that A squared equals to b times b minus a. And dividing both sides of this equation by b squared, we get a divided by b squared plus a divided by b minus 1 equals to 0. Let's a divided by b equals to t. Of course, t is bigger than 0. So, from this Quadratic equation discriminant equals to 1 plus 4 equals to 5. Very good, it's bigger than 0. That's why t first or second equals to minus 1 plus minus square root 5 divided by 2. And from these two answers, we need only t equals to minus 1 plus square root 5 divided by 2 because another t with minus is less than 0. So, as t equals to minus 1 plus square root 5 divided by 2, we get that a divided by b equals to minus 1 plus square root 5 divided by 2. And putting this equation to the formula of cosine 36 degrees, we get that cosine 36 degrees equals to b divided by bracket square root 5 minus 1 times b or 1 divided by square root 5 minus 1. Or we can put square root 5 plus 1 up and down and we have square root 5 plus 1 divided by 4. But let's remember our initial strategy. From cosine 36 degrees we have to find cosine 18 degrees. So let's try to use a very famous trigonometrical formula. Cosine squared alpha equals to 1 plus cosine 2 times alpha divided by 2. It means that cosine 18 degrees squared equals to 1 plus cosine 36 degrees 
divided by 2. Putting cosine 36 degrees into this equation and taking square root from both sides, we understand that it equals square root 5 plus square root 5 divided by 2 times square root 2. It is equal to cosine 18 degrees. Now we have cosine 18 degrees, but from cosine 18 degrees we have to find sine 9 degrees is our main problem is our main question using another formula sine squared alpha equals to 1 minus cosine with double alpha divided by 2 we get that sine squared 9 degrees equals to 1 minus cosine 18 degrees divided by 2 and putting this cosine into this formula we finally get that sine of 9 degrees equals to 1 divided by 2 2 minus 2 cosine 18 degrees and it equals to 1 divided by 2 don't frighten guys it's very huge 2 minus square root 5 plus square root 5 divided by 2 oh my god square root under square root under square root and this is so little sign so guys wi-fi coasted that solution if you are also a wi-fi maniac or coffee maniac put like to this video guys anyway i hope that you really enjoyed looking this video guys and this video was helpful for you i also hope that you have a fun day guys and i want to see you in the next video